Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul. It has been months since I've been to Dollar Tree and I think I haven't done a Dollar Tree haul since like February. Um, so today I thought I would share everything I got, including non-crafty items. However, I will leave a timestamp down below if you want to just fast forward to the crafty stuff. So I'll show that stuff at the end. First, from the kitchen section, I just got myself a vegetable peeler. This is the Betty Crocker brand. Next, I grabbed this Styling Home set. It comes in a set of six. I just wanted the, the wide tooth comb, but it was the only one that I could find. And this is actually pretty cool because it's got all these different comb styles. So it's got that rat tail, it's got the pick, and it's got the wide tooth comb, which is what I was looking for. I grabbed myself some metal tongs. I got myself another bread pan. I have the exact same one, and I have been baking a lot recently, so I thought I'd grab another one so I can, you know, make two at once. Next, I found this tong turner. This is so cool because it's got the tong, but then it also has like a spatula. So then you can grab whatever. Actually, let me see if I can open that up. So it looks like this, and it's super cool because it's got the tongs, like I said, but then it would, once you have your, your food in here, then you could just flip it. So for those things that need to be flipped, I thought this was a super cool find. I haven't seen this before. Next, I grabbed some jumbo-sized Ziploc bags, I guess, or sandwich bags. These are huge, and they have the slider seal, which works really, really well. I'm really impressed with them. They do only come with five because they're so big, but I really like these sandwich bags, and I do use these for both food and crafts. <laughs> So that does it for the non-crafty items. Now I'll move on to the crafty stuff. So first I grabbed this tissue paper. Look how pretty with the floral pattern. So, so nice. And it's also got the pink. I grabbed these craft clamps. These are the smaller version. I did get the bigger version as well. I'll show that to you when I find them. <laughs> But this one comes in a six piece. Like I said, they're the smaller size. Next I have some resin glitter charms and they come in a pack of four. And these ones are the hearts. And then these are the seahorse. And then some fishtails or mermaid tails, I guess. And these ones are dual colored. So they're really pretty, I like them. And they also come with the loop as well, so they can be made into dangles or charms. Next, I noticed that they had some new decorative shreds, so they, found, they have this black and white version, which I thought was super cool. So I grabbed two packs of those. And then, this one is ripped, I don't know what happened, but they do have a nice kind of bubblegum pink now. Before they only had like that kind of rose pink, but this is more the pink that I like. So I grabbed a pack of those. Next I grabbed this DIY banner, and it's made out of the burlap ribbon, or burlap fabric. I was going to experiment with this and see if I can use, I don't know, bleach or hydrogen peroxide to bleach them and lighten them so that I can get different color burlap. So we'll see how that works out. I got a couple of stickers here. These ones are really pretty. They're pastel colored paper flowers. They have pearl centers. And there are one, two, three, four, twelve altogether. Oh my gosh, I can't read. <laughs> so I did grab two of those because I really don't have paper flowers in this color. Next, I grabbed these paper straws. These ones come with the attachment. And these ones are the flamingos. I didn't buy them for the flamingos. I bought them squarely because they are pink and white striped. I don't have pink and white striped straws, so I thought I'd grab a pack of those. 
Next I grabbed some yarn. This one here is like a multicolored yarn. And then this yarn here, which is 100% acrylic, which is perfect because I don't like wool. So I've got to that watermelon color. Here is another synthetic yarn. This one is 100% polyester. As you can see, this one's really fuzzy. <laughs> like, really fuzzy. I think these would be great for, you know, kind of like furrier projects, if you will. And people have been making those cotton candy embellishments, which I really love to try out. So I grabbed a spool or a skein of that. And then I grabbed the glitter yarn that is all over Instagram. <laughs> um, so I was able to find this in kind of like more the suburb store. So just so you guys know, they are in Canada, but they might be in like, you know, bigger kind of like standalone stores because I find that the ones in the city generally are smaller. They don't have as much selections. So I grabbed the pink, the white, the mint, the hot pink and the peach. I could not find the blue. <laughs> I have been to, I think, four different stores. I was able to find two of each of all these colors, but the blue eludes me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna see if I can go to another Dollar Tree and see if I can find the blue. Next, I finally found the silicone facial mask applicator, which would be great for holding projects down, you know, so that you don't hold it with your finger because if you're using hot glue, for example, it's really hot. <laughs> so these would be great for that. I did grab a bunch of these for Happy Mail as well. Some more straws. These ones, I think, are only going to be in Canadian stores because it's for Canada Day. And they are kind of foiled, red and white. They could be used for Christmas, obviously. Like, can you imagine like a little gingerbread wand with this? Also cute. <laughs> So this one is a pack of 14. I grabbed another one of these gem sticker sheets. These ones come up with three different colors. The light pink, the dark pink, and the white. I love using these. I grabbed one of the Tinkerbell stickers just in case I have like a Disney project I need to do quickly. Loving these gem stickers that come with it. Grab more of the double-sided tape. I love these. You can also get these at your dollar store with more, but at Dollar Tree, they are $1.25. So if you can find them at Dollar Tree, go grab them. They're great. They're very sticky. And then I grab these jewel borders. I haven't seen this color before. So I thought I'd grab just one sheet because I think they'd be great for like fall projects. You know, it's got that kind of earthy tone. Next, I found these cat stickers thanks to Kelly G Crafts because she first hauled them. Um, I saw that they had a rag doll and I buy anything rag doll related because I've got two of my own and had to, had to grab this sheet. So, so cute. So it comes with seven different cats and then you've got some sayings and then a little bit of like accessory type stickers. They are popped up as well. So there's a good chance that you get double, you know, if you separate the layers, which is what I do a lot of time when it comes to these dimensional stickers. So I did grab two of those. Next, I found this adhesive diamond wrap. I thought this was super cool because you can cut it in however size you like and if there is an adhesive on the back. So I thought this would be really cool to dress up like vases and candlestick holders and things like that. I grabbed the butterflies in the same color scheme as the paper flowers that I wish just that I previously showed you. These ones have double pearls for the butterflies bodies. And then I found these canvas doilies. I don't know if you can see but they are like a uh, textured linen almost and they've got heart border which was really cute. So here is a hanging decoration. I thought this was really cool. Obviously, this is something that you use to like decorate your party, but I thought it was really cool because the pieces inside are not punched. So, oops, sorry for the noise. So the, the string that is used to hang the garland 
right there. As you can see, it's not punched through the piece, but it's just glued on and it's not very strong glue, so it's really easy to remove. And they come with these really pretty, almost die cuts or ephemera. So I thought this would be great for like layering on like cards and things like that, it's because you get so, so many. You get two different flowers and a hummingbird. So I thought this was a really good deal for $1.25. Next, I found these stickers, and these are almost like ephemera as well. I know that there are some papers that go with this. I haven't been able to find that yet, but I am still on the hunt for those. But however, I did find these fairy stickers, which I thought was really, really pretty. They got some flowers and some butterflies, and of course some fairies that have no faces. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I will probably end up drawing a face in there because that's kind of creepy in my opinion. <laughs> Got myself a lighter so that I can start burning my ribbons so they don't fray. Next, I got one of the handheld mirrors that is already white, which I thought was pretty cool because I usually paint them with acrylic paint before I start decorating them because, you know, they come in that kind of silver color. But this one already is white, so I thought this would be great to alter and super easy because, again, it's already white and I don't have to paint it. The last thing I have to show you is this FOMA poster board adhesive by Beacon. This is the same brand that creates Fabri-Tac, which you guys know I am absolutely obsessed about. This is the most amazing glue. But this was found at Dollar Tree for $1.25, so I, that just completely blew my mind. So I did buy five bottles of these because I know that it's a really good brand, and I'm sure that this is going to be amazing glue, so I'm super excited to find this. So that was a Dollar Tree haul that I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As you guys know, things are starting to open up. We are entering what the BC government is calling Phase 2, which is now seeing restaurants and bars and hairdressers and people like that starting to open up. So we are hopefully coming towards the end. But still, please stay safe and please stay healthy. And until my next video, have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.